60 million year old meteorite impact zone, zone discovered on the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Well, we've seen, thanks to Google Earth, very easily do we find Earth impact craters. There's over 50 of them in Australia, for example, asteroid impact craters. We recently shown what we've seen in Google Earth on Google Earth. They have something sliding on the Earth's crust. If you look at the point just uh, the uh, point north of uh, Latin America and also south of Latin America, the edge of the continent just between South America and Antarctica, you'll see something that has slid from the west towards the east and uh, it's as if it has cut the tip of South America from the tip of north, uh, the north area of Antarctica and also created a, a, some kind of a, a wave of uh, pushing those land masses towards the direction of whatever hit the earth. And because of the fact that there's nothing there, it seems to have been a comet, an icy comet. Perhaps it brought a lot of water to Earth with it. Now, we have a lot of impact zones uh, in Canada as well. You have a lot of them that you're able to see, especially in areas that are not built up. And they're pretty big. I mean, some of them that we measured yesterday were about 50 miles across. Can you imagine? What could have hit that was 50 miles across? It's unbelievable how big those things were. And now this... Uh, team of geologists, this is on Sci News, I'll leave a link below for you. A team of geologists found 60 million year old ejecta from a previously unknown meteorite impact on the Isle of Skye in northwest Scotland. This is the first rec recorded mid-Paleocene impact event in the region and it's a, a coincident with the onset of magnetism in the British Paleogene Ingenious igneous province. Now 60 million years ago it could have been whatever wiped out the dinosaurs. They claimed that it was an asteroid impact. Could have been this one. The team headed by Birkbeck University of London researcher Dr. Simon Drake found a 3.6 foot, that's 1.1 meter thick layer at the base of a 60 million year old lava flow on the Isle of Skye of Scotland. He said, we thought it was an ignimbrite, a volcanic flow deposit. But when we analyzed the rock using an electron microscope, they discovered it contained rare minerals straight from outer space. It contained vanadium-rich and niobium-rich osbornite. These mineral forms have never been reported on Earth. They have, however, been collected by NASA's Stardust Comet Sample Return Mission as space dust in the wake of the Wild 2 comet. And what's more, the Osbornite is unmelted, suggesting that it was an original piece of the meteorite. Dr. Drake and co-authors also identified radite, an extremely high-pressure form of zircon, which is only ever associated in nature with impacts, along with native iron and other exotic mineralogy linked to impacts such as Baringerite. A second site, which is 4.3 miles away, proved to be a 6.5 foot thick ejecta layer with the same strange mineralogy. They pinned the impact to something that happened sometime between 60 million and 61.4 million years ago. The geologist said this discovery opens many questions. Quote, is the same ejecta layer found elsewhere in the British Paleogene Igneous province? Where exactly did the meteor hit? Could the impact have triggered the outpouring of lava that began at the same time or be related to volcanism in the larger North Atlantic Igneous province? Well, we know that that's what happened in the uh, Mexico uh, asteroid strike, that when that struck the uh, Earth, the impact caused such a pressure that the crust melted 
the rocks melted, turned into liquid. And uh, of course, that gave off the impact, gave off huge earthquakes and also volcanic eruptions. So yes, uh, there could have been lava flows because of the impact from the volcanoes, of course. Now, so far, the researchers have collected samples from another site on Sky that also yield strange mineralogy, including another mineral strikingly similar to the one found in common dust. Dr. Drake, Drake said, we were surprised that the ejecta layer had not been identified before. After all, the Isle of Skye is famously well trampled by geologists. The second site had not been sampled in years. As for the first site, we suspect the steep, rough, and very boggy terrain probably discouraged previous workers from sampling this layer. This report was uh, originally published in the journal Geology, and this is on Sci News, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.